So, of course, this season we find out that Delphine is kind of running things at Diamond, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So, how does that affect your relationships with everybody else at this point? Seems like she's not the warm and friendly person we knew. I just love the idea. I think, for example, in real life, if you're going to get a promotion, it's going to change your relationship with everyone. Um, so it's going to be that way for Delphine. Um, when you're in a position of power, sometimes you got to hide your true intentions. Um, you uh, have to accept the fact that you're going to be lonely. You're going to have to make sacrifices, really difficult choices. Um, that's that's what comes with power. But with power also comes the chance. <laughs> to use that power and get revenge. <laughs> so there's going to be some of that too. Um, but uh, she's not exactly uh, on top. She's kind of... there. That's the cool thing about season three is that we're trying to see who holds the strings, who's behind Lida, who's behind Topside, who's behind Caster. And I think um, she's kind of in, a, in the middle of all of that. In season two, she was more in, with, with, with Kasima um, in the dyad world. Now she's in the middle of all of these worlds and she's kind of stuck and it's a very hard place and so it's going to be a hard season for Delphine and all this, these challenges will bring out a maybe a much darker side I could say. Great season for Delphine. Yeah. yeah. For everybody actually. Yeah. That's, that's the cool thing about season three is we have so many characters now because we've got Project Caster, we've got Project Lita, but even all the auxiliary characters, they get flushed out so much this season. It's really exciting to see the places that we all get to go and we, we discover so much about ourselves mm -hmm. in the process. It's it's a really full season. There's there's no let up over the 10 episodes. It's just go, 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 go. It's really it's action packed. Insane, yeah. yeah. Probably the most action packed season of Definitely. Black today. Where, where does Paul loyalty fly? Like, where, I can't I, You're gonna have to watch now. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to watch to find out. I think right now it lies with the military. I mean, Paul's finally in his element this year. He gets to be himself. He's not playing the double agent. I finally have a, an opportunity to make really strong character choices, which was really fun for me, like come out of my shell. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had a, a really, really great time playing all, all the stuff I, I was able to play this I, season. I so, But you will have to watch yeah. watch to find where his loyalties truly lie. But it's a it's a great season for answers. It is. You get a lot exactly. of answers. A lot of answers. And then because of those answers, more questions come yeah. up as well. So it's you're getting the best of both worlds. The worse. closer you get to the truth, the closer you get to the, the more dangerous it is so I think all of our characters characters too are like oh yeah it's very heightened emotions mm -hmm. because the it's stakes never are at a diff the stakes are yeah. way yeah, way, way higher. up up here this season yeah for sure so with Donnie and Allison I mean they are the greatest characters <laughs> the greatest couple characters Thanks. with this hottest. dynamic we, we sexiest never, we, and hottest <laughs> sexiest yeah. 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 let's just say it let's just say it I mean yeah let it be known so if you know with the season I mean will they continue to remain in their post honeymoon like murder you know <laughs> The second honeymoon is second not honeymoon. over. Okay. They are uh, that. Uh, it's now Team Hendrix, which is great. We see Donnie and Allison working together for the first time uh, on the show, at least. And um, yeah, you know, like the the thing that you love about Allison and Donnie is still there. They're still. She's always kind of wearing the pants and bickering at Donnie, but Donnie loves it at the same time, and they both kind of love it at the same time. And um, seeing them work as a team is so much fun and it's also fun for Tat and I because we, we get along so well and we have such a good time goofing around on set that it's just been so much more fun to be teammates, be chums and explore that relationship and then see how we do when we have to tackle other problems that come our way because it's the suburbs and it's not boring. <laughs> stuff happens, stuff comes to us. Do we find out more about Donnie um, just on his own, like without um, Allison? Yeah, I mean... Donnie they're... is awesome this year. <laughs> Seriously, Donnie is freaking unreal this year. Oh boy. There's a new side to Donnie yeah. that... Uh, <laughs> We saw one side of Donnie last season. <laughs> the back side the of Donnie. Side. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time you saw Donnie in season two. Was Donnie, his butt. Donnie yeah. cracks me up. Crack. In, <laughs> crack. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm interjecting here. This no, no, there's there's definitely some fun Donnie stuff this season. And, and we do see his world separate from Allison a little bit. And uh, to explore that is really is really a lot of fun. Yeah. Is there ever any feelings of jealousy amongst the three of you? Because you all get to like play with Tatiana and these different characters, but she's like supposed to be all yours. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous that he gets to play with Allison. She's my I wife. Get, man. I get so excited when she's on the screen. Oh wow! <laughs> Not in that kind of way. 
<laughs> I just get excited to watch her. Like, I am just get nervous for some reason. Yeah. Does that mean I'm in love? Maybe. We're know. all in love with Tad. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of neat. I mean, there's one scene that didn't make it into episode 10 last season where Donnie goes to Rachel. Uh, and we shot it and everything, and, it, and just due to time, we had to to cut the scene. And there was a scene where I got to play with with Rachel, and it really threw me. I, I had seen Sarah when I was, you know, initiated into Clone Club. I, I got to meet Sarah, but Sarah and Allison, they look similar at least, and it, you know, like it's that's fine. But I remember sitting. It was my last day of the whole season, filming wise, and I was sitting off camera with, with uh, Tat, dressed as Rachel, and she's sitting in the body of Rachel. The voice is there, the body's there, the, the hair, the costume, and I was just so thrown by it. I was like, who are you? I've spent two seasons with you, but not you, but what is going on? And it's, it's really neat to get the opportunity to see her as these other characters. I've seen her as other characters, even in just finishing that clone for the day and she's about to shoot another scene with Donnie. She has to switch to, switch over to Allison, but before she actually goes into makeup and, and changes, uh, we just block the scene and she'll be dressed as another clone and I'll be acting a scene and it's not Allison, but it sounds like Allison, but she's got the different wardrobe on and it, it's really amazing to see how she fully embodies these characters. The, the cool thing is that the, there's a different energy in the room yeah. as she's a different mm. clone. It's not just the mannerisms and the voice and the, there's there's a vibe, there's a, there's a vibe. Like, the way people are changes the energy in the room. The way I am, the way you are, it creates something. And she's that good that there's something that feels different as soon as you step in for blocking you're like, oh, wait a minute, this is not Kasima. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think I've ever met anyone that has the energy level that Tatiana Maslany has yeah. too. It's it's through the through the charts because she has a little spark plug. Well, it's Amazing. I mean, how did how did she do what she is able to do with because yeah. her energy level is so high and she yeah. gives so much to each of us in every single scene. So, you know, she has yeah. enough to go around. That's for sure. Yeah. For me, it's her fearlessness that I admire the most. Mm -hmm. Like these, these like like spontaneous. I, I learned from the New York Times thing that she had done, done a lot of improv and I'm like, well, obviously she grabs onto anything and makes it her own, mm -hmm. swings it yeah. up. Yeah. She's fearless in that in that instinct that she's like, all right, this is. I'm just gonna integrate this. And, and it's brilliant. Every watching time, that, yeah. it's just like jaw dropping. Like, yeah. I can't believe I get to work with her. But in, in, even in terms of our characters, all three of us are in Clone Club. We know we know what's going on now, and I think it's safe to say that because our worlds have expanded so much, there is the potential that we'll meet other versions of of the clones so it's yeah. it's it's fun to explore that world more yeah. in yeah. season three for sure what about a uh, dance off in season three <laughs> <laughs> well, we just have a dance off yeah, yeah. he'd win for sure he's got moves we got some moves you do yeah you i'll do. be the judge all right <laughs> okay three for you yeah, what, yeah. three <laughs> out of three right exactly okay good <laughs> yeah yes of yeah. course yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was on my bucket list until it happened. I went yeah. to <laughs> issue three. I can't. I haven't read it yet. I can't wait. You were in one. I was in one. Yeah. I went to four different comic shops to pick it up, and it was sold out everywhere. Oh, that's, that's number one. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was number one. I think that for all February yeah, or that February. week or all. Feed out Darth Vader or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Darth, take that, Darth. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amazing. Amazing. I'm. I'm proud of those guys. That's a smart way to to market the show as well. Yeah. Oh. Like yeah, it's insane. Are you kidding me? Yeah, dream come true. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course. When we have kids too, you can be like, Granny was in a comic book once. <laughs> <laughs> I heard real, real quick. I heard that um, Rachel's returning. How is that going to affect the whole power play? Wait, did you really hear that? I are you saw trying it on to trick? Are you trying no, to trick us? Right was that Rachel? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, no, you never see. know. I don't see? know. <laughs> that's, that's how, deep, how deep did that pen go? Yeah, that's exactly. the question.